Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So in this video, I'm just taking a quick look at the new wallet ID system Dapper from Dapper Labs, the people behind CryptoKitties, and also looking at the flow, how we use it with Metamask. So I guess probably like me, if you've been using lots of dApps, you've kind of been using Metamask really to interact with the Ethereum blockchain because that's been what's been around for the most uh, longest period of time. And now Dapper's come along. It's kind of interesting. It's got these kind of um, it's got no gas fees for certain games. Um, and uh, other advantages, uh, but to use the two things at the same time is a little bit complicated. Um, but this is this kind of, I guess, could show you how to use them both at the same time. So, um, to get Dapper, we just go to meetdapper.com. Um, here we new way to block the best way to blockchain. Um, it says download Dapper, but all that's going to do is going to take us to Chrome extensions. Uh, there's no download, so you just it's just a Chrome extension, just exactly like um, uh, MetaMask. In fact, you can see I've already got it here. So here's Dapper, here's Metamask, here's a few other um, wallets um, that I've got. Um, and you can see I'm actually at the moment in Metamask. So I've logged into Metamask. Um, so here we go, that's my Metamask uh, wallet. And I actually want to play My Crypto Heroes, but um, I actually um, have logged into My Crypto Heroes with uh, Dapper. So obviously it's not gonna let me, um, well, it will let me play the game. Um, but it will, it won't, it won't pick up my uh, my progress because um, I've used Dapper, not not MetaMask. So this is a bit of a pain. So what do I have to do? Okay, pretty simple. Um, we go to extensions, we switch off MetaMask, and we switch on Dapper, and then we reload, and we see the little Dappers come up here now, um, and there we go. So that's my Dapper uh, wallet address. I've not got any ETH or anything in there, but hopefully now, let's see if we can do this. Um, just checking. So let's play the game and let's sign in with my wallet. And it does this silly slidey thing that some things tend to do. And now it's going to see it's pulled up Dapper and cause that's what I'm signed into. And it's going to sign um, to basically use it as an ID system. And now hopefully looking like it's worked there we go so there's my profile and there's my account settings i've only just started playing this so um nothing very exciting going on in terms of my crypto heroes at the moment um but now there's a problem supposing i want to go and play crypto kitties actually let's use axe infinity as a better example um so let's go to axe infinity so axe infinity is a game i've been playing using metamask so let's go to my axes. I've got some axes. But of course, no axes found because I'm logged in to Dapper. So what's the process? OK, back to extensions, switch off Dapper, switch on MetaMask. <laughs> um, and log into MetaMask. OK. Uh, and actually, I'm on my I'm on the wrong account for MetaMask. There we go. Right. So now let's log into. There we go. So there we go. All, all my all my axes. So this is kind of um, kind of simply how you do it. You just go and, and log in and out. This is of course a, a total pain. This is not what these systems are designed to do. Um, the whole point is to have everything in one. So. At some point, I am led to believe that Dapper will be offering some sort of transfer system, like like Google and Apple do. To if you can if you can move from a from an iPhone to a Pixel phone, uh, and they offer you these kind of um, automatic systems that it takes all your contacts and <laughs> photos and moves them all over. Um, I think something like that is happening. Um, quite whether <coughs> people will be bothered to do that, I do not know. Um, I guess a bit like me, you, if you've been playing a lot of these games, you've got quite a lot of stuff in your in your MetaMask. Or you, that you access through your MetaMask. Um, obviously, not held in MetaMask to that degree. Um, but uh, it will be interesting to see how it pans out. Um, but uh, that's just kind of that's just the flow of, of moving around these um, these these uh, moving between these two wallet systems, which are kind of competing, and and ones are like a bit more of a legacy one, and ones a new one. And there's always problems around that. And you know, blockchain is always always something to mess around with when it comes to the tech, isn't it? Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, short little video. Um, just looking at, at these new um, systems. Um, any comments, stick them in the comments box. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. So in Blockchain Gaming World, we're all about the world of blockchain games and messing around and seeing what's going on. So if you're interested in that, please do subscribe. Um, but thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon.